So the question is, is it possible to experience enlightenment in really just a matter of a few minutes? Well, that is exactly the question we're going to be looking at in this video. And we're going to look at actually, what does the word enlightenment really actually mean? Because when we speak of it, when it's used, it's often in this really heavy, otherworldly, very far away, very esoteric sort of context. So what we want to do is bring it here and now in the present moment and ground it in this physical reality. So all we need to do is really just look at the word. So we look at enlightenment. So the prefix en means to cause. Enlighten obviously means brighten or lighten or lighter, make something lighter, or basically kind of like a flash. And then ment refers to state quality or process. So basically the word actually means to cause a state quality or process of being lighter or brighter. It's really all it means. So can that happen in a few minutes? Maybe. So what we're going to do is look at a couple of different questions. First thing we can look at is this idea of the story we tell ourselves about ourselves. Meaning we experience our day, we experience our lives, past, present, and future. We always have that narrative going on in our head. Or someone asks us a question about ourselves or a question about something, and what do we have? We have a story. So perhaps to create or to cause a process of lightness or brightness, we could ask and perhaps examine or look at that perhaps the story we tell about ourselves to ourself and to other people might not be entirely accurate, might not be entirely that useful. And perhaps who we are and what we've experienced and what we can do might actually be quite a bit bigger than whatever our story actually is. So we can ask ourselves, well, just maybe the story or interpretation I have of myself, you know, maybe there's more to it. Maybe it's not entirely that accurate. Maybe it's leaving out a lot of information. Maybe it's ignoring a lot of information. And maybe I might actually be something a lot bigger than that. Second question we might want to ask is, what about our interpretations about the world? Perhaps they too might be inaccurate or incomplete. Perhaps we are choosing to ignore or leave out huge amounts of information. So this can really open the door for the unknown, which sometimes often you know, can make us nervous because we have this real need to want to control everything. But really, maybe the unknown is where what we want lives or where the mystery and the wonder and the excitement and passion and joy that we want to experience in our lives, perhaps that is where it actually resides. So we can ask ourselves, well, you know, I'm making all these interpretations about life every single second of every single day, everything that happens to me. We have our reflective reactions or reflexive reactions, I should say, and our program responses. But maybe we can take a step back and say, well, maybe some of these might be outdated. Maybe some of these might be not really that useful anymore. Maybe they could use upgrading. Perhaps these interpretations might just might not even be really that accurate or really that useful in this point. And the third thing we can look at is our perception and our level of awareness. Past, present, or past and present, I should say. And perhaps even with that, maybe there's, you know, a level that we were either at, maybe we're at a different level now, much in the same way in the future, we might have the potential and the possibility for even another level of awareness, for another level of consciousness. And then it can be true for ourselves and perhaps for other people that we are looking at. Because so often we get caught up in good, bad, right or wrong, and all of these dichotomies and dualities and sort of dualistic frameworks but really maybe they're all sort of different levels of the same thing or different aspects of the same thing. And again, I'm not telling you what to think. I'm not telling you this is right or this is wrong. These are really just questions 
for you to answer if you want to. <laughs> if you don't want to, then don't do it. Doesn't really bother me either way. So the next question is, well, what about our control over things? You know, because we have what we talked about earlier, which is perhaps the mystery, perhaps what we are leaving out, perhaps what we are deleting or distorting or generalizing from our experience. Because we want to take, you know, huge amounts of information and huge amounts of data about ourselves and about an experience and put it in one little sentence or one little word. Oh, that was good. That was bad. He's a jerk. She's really nice. I'm a good person. I'm a bad person. We want to really overly simplify things when in reality life is not really that simple. So we do this usually out of a real addiction and desire to control things. So we can ask, well, you know, are we really in control? And could there be some room to let go of our need and our addiction to that sensation? And we can ask ourselves, do we really see life as a doing? Meaning anything that happens, anything we want to happen, anything that occurs in our lives is something we have to do. We have to make it happen. Or could it be a happening? Something that just happens. Or something that is more reflective of a, just a purely a state of being. Things to consider. Number five, we can ask ourselves, well, you know, here I am now and maybe I want to be over there. Maybe I want to be over here. I want to be back there. I want to be all these different places. I want all these different things to happen. And perhaps it could be useful to ask ourselves, well, you know, maybe things can change. Hmm, just maybe. Not necessarily going all the way to one extreme and saying, oh, this sucks. I hate my life. I'm stuck. Things are never going to change. Then taking it to the other extreme and going off into imagination land and saying, oh, life is perfect. I'm going to create everything I want. And this is beautiful flow and I'm just going to surrender into everything and disappear. And often neither extreme really proves results because both extremes are obviously extreme and are not very flexible to adapting and dealing with the different things which life can present to us. So perhaps we can say, well, you know, maybe things can change. You know, I don't really know because really it might be a fundamentally a mystery. Maybe my conscious logical process is not really capable of understanding all the ways in which things could happen or things could change. And maybe this addiction to the story about myself in my addictive way of interpreting the world and getting fixated at a certain level of consciousness out of this addiction to the illusion of control might be keeping things from actually being able to change. And maybe these things can really open the door to actually feeling inspired or feeling amazed or feeling awe and astonishment in wonder about life. So out of all of these questions, how do they relate to enlightenment? Well, they relate because maybe if we look at them, we can create an opening for feeling lighter, feeling brighter, or having a flash. Because remember, lighten means brighten, lighter, or a flash. So it could be a flash of insight, meaning we're entertaining these questions, we're asking these questions, maybe we're relaxing, and all of a sudden, something goes off in our head. A flash or maybe we say oh you know what I really see now that I've been doing this thing and saying these things about myself forever now and I can just maybe not do that anymore and then what do we feel <sighs> lighter and if we feel lighter we usually feel a little bit brighter you know our face brightens up our eyes brighten up and we feel it's a little bit happier and more energetic in our lives so in that sense we can quite easily and quickly cause a state, quality, or process of feeling brighter, lighter, or having kind of a flash. <laughs> so is it possible to experience enlightenment in a few minutes? It's a question for you to think about and for you to entertain and ponder. So hopefully this video has generated some curiosity and creativity going on in your brain. Thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you soon.